Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Friday, March 11th. It's the fourth week in Lent, and week six in the Psalm Cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 107, verse 23 to 32, and 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 27, to chapter 13, verse 3. And please join me in singing the second verse of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. Say to the power that shakes the sky, how terrible you are, sinners before your presence fly. Or at your feet they bow. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. They that go down to the sea in ships, these see the works of the Most High. Psalm 107, and please recite it with me. They that go down to the sea in ships, that do business in great waters. They see the works of the Most High and God's wonders in the deep. And God commands the storm which lifts the waves. They mount up to the heavens and they fell back again to the depths and their souls melted because of trouble. They reel to and fro like drunkards and stagger and are at their wits end. And then they cry to the Most High in their trouble, and God saved them in their distress. God calmed the storm and stilled the waves. They were glad because the sea was quiet. So God brings them to their desired haven. O oh, people, give thanks to the Most High for God's goodness towards the children of the earth. Exalt God in the congregation of the people, and praise God in the assembly of the elders. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. They that go down to the sea in ships, these see the works of the Most High. A reading from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 12, beginning at verse 27. Now you are the body of Christ, and individually members of it. And God has appointed in the church, first, apostles, second, prophets, third, teachers, then, deeds of power, gifts of healing, forms of assistance, forms of leadership, various kinds of tongues. Are all the prophets? Are all apostles? Are all teachers? Do all work miracles? Do all possess gifts of healing? Do all speak in tongues? Do all interpret? But strive for the greater gifts, and I will show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in tongues of mortals and of angels, but I do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith, so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. 
If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Please respond, hear our prayer. We thank you for bringing us safely to the end of this day. And we thank you for all the blessings you have granted us. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Deliver us from hardness of heart. Forgive us our sins and offenses that your light may show forth from us. O oh God, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. For all who seek you, tender God, that they may find and be found. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That your will may be done in all that we undertake, to the benefit of ourselves and our families and friends, the church, and all people. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer, and for all of your intentions. O God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O merciful and loving God, we praise you for your goodness and proclaim your saving help to all the world. Deliver us from all our distress. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen.